Okay, so Wild Eye TV is a new series we're going to be putting together, and what we're doing in it is we're taking the skill sets that we have from the field, which is documenting things, telling stories, and we're bringing it a little bit closer to home. Since we can't travel, we decided let's go out into the field locally. That includes restaurants, activities, hikes, outdoor activities, and we're going to create mini documentaries in which either one or two of us or the whole team goes to an area and we're going to tell the story of it. Now Wild Eye TV is a new journey that we're embarking on, one that's really exciting and challenging us all when it comes to our creativity. So it's basically us showcasing attractive areas in and around Joburg. It's not limited to wildlife, but also you know, showcasing restaurants and entertainment areas around the city. And we're basically just going to tell lifestyle stories, which could be anything. You could go and visit these places. You might just watch the TV series and enjoy our sense of humor, our way of telling stories. But Wild Eye TV is going to be a series of lifestyle videos in and around Johannesburg initially, and then we're going to roll it further out, which keeps us busy. It has, it has us having fun, and hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. The main reason why we're doing these particular episodes is not only to provide you with new, fresh and different looking content, but it's also to help a lot of our local businesses here in South Africa. During this COVID pandemic, a lot of businesses found themselves folding, struggling, fighting to stay above the water. And what we have decided to do is team up with establishments in and around South Africa and just kind of give them a bit more eyes online. We're not traveling anytime soon. We don't have the opportunities to go to these wildlife areas. And by doing this, we're still getting those creative juices flowing for us personally as well. We normally travel between 150 and 200 days a year. With us being stuck at home, we still have that need to tell stories, to document things. And early in lockdown, as soon as we were allowed to, we started going out initially just as a way for us to get out of the office and to do something. But as soon as we started doing this, it became quite evident that there's something there. So why are we doing Wild Eye TV? Because we're having fun with it. We love telling stories and we think you're going to enjoy it as well. So every Wednesday, the team heads out into the field, if you will. And Wednesdays are content creation days. We take filming equipment, everything from drones to Osmos to DSLRs, audio equipment, microphones, and we go and tell stories at these different places. So how we choose these places is we kind of brainstorm and decide on places that we think our audience will find interesting, but also possible places that people could visit you know, before or after their safari. So whether it be restaurants or hotels, whatever it might be, we find, we look at these places and think, you know, that might be an interesting episode for people to, to view or people to go and and visit when they come into Johannesburg. Often it'll be a lifestyle kind of linked destination where we're going to or activity, but we then just go in and we do some homework on the place and then we see what stands out for us and we tell those stories by recording audio clips, drone footage, video footage, interviews. So how we're putting Wild Eye TV together is basically how we like to tell stories in the field and we feel there's a great crossover from what we do to what we're going to do. So right now we are focusing on our local markets and our local beauty in and around South Africa. I think South Africa has got so much to offer. Um, if we go to the different provinces, you know, every province we could literally spend a few weeks in each province. So at this stage it's only been in and around Johannesburg. We're already looking at branching out a little bit. Cape Town is a destination we want to look at. There's some cool stuff in Durban. And then later on also, once we open up to travel again, is to go into Africa and beyond and give different activities and places the airtime that we can give them by telling stories our way. So initially Johannesburg, but lots more coming.
So what really excites me about this new journey that we've embarked on is that it's forced us all to step out of our comfort zone and to start trying new things, new ideas, and then obviously creating and forcing us to find new creative juices in order to achieve what we are trying to achieve here. I think it's a, it's a platform where we can showcase um, our personalities and you know to, to just to give people something a little bit light-hearted. I think often when we run safaris we are focused on our clients and, and meeting their, their needs where this is just a, um, us letting go of, you know, of our creativity and also just a bit of fun for us as well. I think you know, people have often seen, the, the, like I said, the wildlife side of things but this will showcase a lot more that South Africa and possibly Africa as a whole has to offer. So I'm quite excited about this new venture because number one, it gets myself and the team out into the field. It breaks the monotony, while we're not traveling, of sitting in the office. So for us to get out there and document and create and tell stories rather than sitting in the office looking for something to do is a great thing. It's great for our mindset, it's great for our creative storytelling. But more than that, I think the departure from just sharing wildlife is going to give our audience a bit of a deeper insight as to who we are, not only as individuals, but as a company. And I think we're going to add some value to people because even local South Africans will learn things that they didn't know about their own backyard. And for people who are going to come to South Africa, it's going to give them some options to explore when they have a day or two in South Africa. So I think everything together makes this new venture something that I'm super excited about and I think you guys will enjoy it as well.